Alright, so in this quick video, I'm going to be showing you how to import sound files into Flash. And I'm also going to be showing you which settings to use and some handy tips along the way. So the most common way to import a sound file is just to go to File, Import, and then Import to Stage or Library. But there's actually quite a lot of different ways you can import sound. And one quick way is just to go to Apple R for a Mac or Control R for a PC. And this will immediately bring up the import menu and you can just select your sound file. So I'm just going to select my sample music.mp3. All right, great. So when it's imported, it will appear in the, in the library here. And to actually implement it onto your stage, you just drag and drop your sound file onto the stage. And it'll take, it might take a little bit of time. And there it is. You can see the waveform there. So it shows that it's in your timeline. All right, so it is possible to actually have more than one sound effect on one layer, but it's definitely not recommended because it can make things really hectic. And so I would always recommend just having one sound file per layer on your timeline, and it keeps things way more organized and it's easier to mix as well. Okay, so next I'm just gonna click on my sound and go to properties. Now, one really important part about using sound files in Flash is which sync setting you use. And there's several different options. Now, I've put the sync to event, and event is a sound setting which was implemented by default on earlier versions of Flash. And it was a really strange setting to use because it basically meant if I played this now, it would just play the entirety of the music, even if I stopped playing. And also what's worse, if I looped the timeline, just start playing it again, it would start overlapping the music. So it really wasn't a good setting to use. So nowadays, everyone uses stream. So my main tip is to use the stream sync setting. And on newer versions of Flash, it should be set to stream by default, but just in case, always check that your sound files are synced to stream settings. And stream basically means that the sound runs completely parallel with your timeline, and to the point where you can actually scrub a long timeline and it will play that tiny bit of sound which occurs on each frame. And so this makes it perfect for lip syncing. So if I'm doing a bit of lip sync, I, I can just keep moving along, hear the sound and then just do the shape of the mouth. So it's really, really handy. And also if you just play it like this, it will just stop when your frame ends. So it's really, really handy setting to use. All right, so over on the properties menu, you can add some effects to your sounds. The only problem is they are quite primitive effects in Flash. It's unlike Premiere where you have effects such as reverb, high pass, low pass. In Flash, it's mainly about actually adjusting the levels and volume of your sound. And so what you can do is you can choose these presets here. But my main tip is just to go to this pencil and do custom edits on your sound. And the way it works is you get these little squares and you can basically just adjust the levels here. And you can also add your own new squares. So you can basically just add fall offs like this. And it's really easy to control. And so if I just zoom out here, it will actually show you with a big bolded line where your actual frame ends. And so if I wanted a really short piece of music to just fade out by this frame, I could just literally just drag this along here and do a fade, and I'll just qu quickly do it on the other channel as well. And so now if I press OK and play this back, it will do a fade off like this. And if I go back to it here, my other main tip is that by default it will be set to time by seconds, and what you should do is just click this here, and it shows you it by frame. And this is so much easier because of course on a timeline it's done by frames. So that is my main tip as well when it comes to editing sound. All right, so that's pretty much covered how to import sound into Flash and the different settings to use. Now, I have made a separate tutorial video about how to export sound from Flash with some really good quality results. So you can click the annotation on screen now and go and check it out. And it's a really quick video and it basically is just me going into the published settings in Flash and just editing the codec and sound settings and you get some really good results from doing that. So I recommend checking it out. But as always, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe.